Hello, Jared Gucci and Mr. Internet Tips. Okay, I'm going to show you how to actually downgrade your version of WordPress. And a lot of you may say, why would you ever want to do this? And uh, quite simply, what happens sometimes is with these constant updates, they can cause some of your theme functions to not function properly and or any plugins that you may have installed so it can just completely kind of throw your website out of whack in some cases and uh, the developer may have not caught up with the wordpress update so you need to downgrade while some of those bugs are getting worked out so i'm going to show you it's a very simple process the first thing you want to do is you actually want to go to a website called wordpress.org download release archive and there actually is a link below this video so you can find this website and it actually has all the versions of WordPress ever released and it goes back to 0.71 so we are now in 3.1.1 and uh, let's just say we wanted to downgrade to 3.0 uh, we'd simply download the zip file here it will ask us where we want to save it I'm just gonna throw that on the desktop there okay so once that is downloaded we're simply just gonna want to extract those files and uh, there we go and then you will see that this is our new installation files for WordPress so before we actually put these into our server we want to make sure that we back up what we already have just in case there's any problems and that can be done very easily first thing you're gonna to want to do is you're gonna to want to download a program called FileZilla and uh, there's a description below in the video where you can download that it is free and once you have FileZilla opened up you want to go into the root directory of your host and uh, the file structure should look like this and basically you're gonna back up everything in here with the exception of the WP content and you can just drag that into a folder on your desktop and it will transfer all those files and then you're gonna want to come back in and you're gonna want to delete the WP admin folder and the WP includes folder and you would just highlight that and then you would delete them and then we're going to go into our WordPress file folder that we downloaded and we're going to want to select all of these with the exception of WP content and we're going to drag that into the root directory of our host. Okay, so now when you go back to your WordPress admin area and try to log in, you're gonna see a screen that looks like this that is asking you for a database upgrade. Simply click on Upgrade WordPress Database and uh, it will say Upgrade Complete. Hit Continue and it will now bring you into your dashboard and you have been downgraded. So hope this was helpful. This actually can be a very useful tool if you have recently upgraded your WordPress version and you find out that there are a lot of conflicts and problems with some of the pages on your website. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'm always here to help.